Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we would learn how to solve the practice problem, print the left element. Okay, so first let us understand the question and then we would solve it. So basically in this question, we are given an array. Let's take an example. Let's say 2, 3, 7, 8, 1. Okay, so first we need to remove the element which is the greatest value. Okay, so among this, the highest value is 8. So this is removed. After this, we need to find the element which has the minimum value. So that means 1. Then this is removed. After this, again, I need to find the value which is highest among the remaining elements. So that is 7. After this, again, I need to find the minimum value. Okay. So the minimum value is 2. Okay. Now you can clearly see I only have one element left. Right. I only have this element left. So this element is my output. Okay, so I just need to keep on repeating first maximum value is removed, then the minimum value is removed. And in the end when I am only left with one element that is my result. I hope the question is clear to you. Now basically for solving this question we would be applying the sort method in Python. So basically we would sort, you know, sort the entire, what do you say, array and after that we would just apply if else condition to get the result. I hope the concept is clear to you. Now let's solve the question. Okay. What you need to do is you need to go to the practice portal. In practice portal in the difficulty section you need to choose school. Okay. After that you need to find the problem. Print the left element. Once you find the problem you need to click on solve. Let's solve it. Here is the question. Let's read it. Given an array of length n at each step it is reduced by one element. In the first step, the maximum element would be removed, while in the second step, minimum element of the remaining array would be removed. In the third step, again the maximum and so on. Continue this till the array contains only one element and find the final element remaining in the array. Okay, I hope the question is clear to you and we would be coding it over here. So, let's start. One minute. Okay. So, let's start. So, what do I need to do? First, I need to sort the array right so sort method after that if else right so if n that is the element modulus 2 equal equal to 0 that means n is the total number of elements okay n is the total number of elements n over here is the total number of elements i am checking if there are even elements or odd number of elements okay enter then what then i need to return with what okay if there are even elements then array okay over here it would be n slash slash 2 then minus 1 okay because I have already sorted the array right so it is easy for me to find the remaining element that would be the center element so basically if it is even so for that this formula then I would remaining elements if it is not even numbered array then it would be odd numbered array right so over here else okay in else it would be return if odd numbers are present, odd number of elements are present. Okay, then it is n minus 1, it is easy because it would be the center element, right? Okay, so this is how we solve the question. I have already sorted the array. Then I am checking if there are even number of elements or odd number of elements. And according to that, I would just pick the middle value. Now I would click on compile and run. Let's wait. Okay, there is an error. Let me check it. Just one minute. Okay, array dot sort. There is an error in it. Okay. Oh, one minute. I made a mistake. There is identation mistake. Okay, one minute. It is not taking identation properly. So let me just do it. One minute. Else and then return. Okay. Now one minute. I would click on compile and run. Let's wait. Okay. Again, there is some error. Okay, I got in this error. So, this should be here. Compile and run. Let's wait. You know, there is identification error in it. Let's wait. Okay, the compilation is completed. And my output is matching with the expected output. So, now I would submit the given crop. Okay. Let's see. Okay, let's wait. Only 10 test cases are left. Okay. 
So the problem is solved successfully and this is how you solve the practice problem print the left element. I hope this video was helpful for you and you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video make sure you click on the like button and subscribe our channel and thank you for joining me today. Thank you.